hi guys welcome back to another tutorial today i'll be showing you guys how i made this beautiful sleeve it's very easy and simple to make if it's something you are interested in please keep on watching and let's get started so as you can see i folded my material into two and um, i already labeled about one inch at the top of my material so right now i'll be taking one inch by the side I'll just take one inch across that's for the opening of the sleeve that's for the slit I'm just going to take one inch all the way down so right now I'll just go ahead and use my ruler to connect So right now I'll be measuring the length of the sleeve and the actual length is about 25 inches but I'll be adding 2 inches to it that will make it 27 inches including the sewing allowance. The 2 inches I'm adding is so that the puffiness at the wrist of the sleeve will come out. So right now I'll just go ahead and mark 27 inches all the way like so. So right now, I'll go ahead and use my ruler to connect that 27 inches I marked. So to draw the sleeve um, curve, I'll come down by 3 inches from the first line that I marked. If you know how to draft a basic sleeve, you can as well draft it that way. So right now, I'm just going to make my sleeve curve. I'll just match it all the way to the three inches that I marked downwards. So right now I'll just measure my armhole curve to be sure that I'm accurate and um, this is actually 10 inches and I'll just mark it like so. So the next measurement I'll be taking right now is my wrist circumference. My wrist circumference divided by like 2 is actually 4. But because of the gathered part of that um, wrist, I'm going to be adding extra 5 inches plus my allowance. So uh, that will be 9 inches. So I'll go ahead and just connect that uh, my armhole straight to my wrist circumference. I'm just going to use my ruler to connect like so. So we are done drafting and right now I'll just go ahead and cut it out. So this, since this is an open sleeve, I'm going to slash through this part like so. So right now, I'll be cutting out the band for the sleeve and the length will be about 3 inches long. Remember, I'm folding it into two, so it's just 3 inches. Then the actual wrist circumference is about 8 inches, but I'm going to be adding 2 inches to it. That's for ease and um, for the allowance, so that it won't be difficult when um, I'm wearing it. So that will be 10 inches in total. So I'll just go ahead and use my ruler to connect it. Then I'll cut it out. So I'm going to be cutting out a facing for this band to give it a firm hold. This is actually a paper stay. So I'll just fold it into two like I did with the band and I'll cut it out. So after cutting it out, I'll place the gummy parts of this interfacing on the wrong side and I'll go ahead and iron it and as you can see this is what it looks like after ironing. And what I'll do next is that I'll fold about a quarter of an inch like so. I'll just fold it like so. 
then i'll also go ahead and fold the other side also but i'll make sure one side is higher than one so that when i'm sewing the sleeve um it doesn't shift so watch closely how i'm doing it just fold one side a little bit higher than one then you go ahead and iron it So this is what it's going to look like after ironing it. As you can see, one part is higher than the other one. And when I'm running a stitch on it, it doesn't come out short. So right now, this um, one inch we left by the side of the sleeve, I'm just going to come down by about two to three inches, depending on how open you want the sleeve to be. I'll come down by three inches at the upper part then at the lower part also i'm going to come up by three inches so depending on how open you want it to be so i'm just going to go ahead and stitch that three inches upwards and downwards so i'm done stitching and um, when i open it up this is what it's going to look like as you can see uh open sleeve is coming out so this is what it will look like so the next thing i'm going to be doing is that i will fold that one inch that we left that one inch allowance i'll go ahead and fold it down like this you can go ahead and iron it if you want to or you can use your pin to hold it down so after folding i'll fold half an inch also like so i'll fold half an inch into it it's as if i'm closing the sleeve i mean the allowance then I'll fold it like this and I'll run a stitch on both sides. And um, this is what it looks like after um, running a stitch on it. So the next thing I'll be doing is to run a gather stitch at this hem, at the hem line. I'll run a gather stitch so that I can attach this band to it. So when I'm done running the gather stitch, I'll just go ahead and drag it gently so that it doesn't cut. I'm just going to go ahead and so that the gathers will come out i'm just dragging it gently so once i'm done with the gathers i'll just go ahead and arrange my sleeve into the band like so so i'll carefully arrange the gathered parts and use my pin to hold it down so take your time while doing this so that um, it doesn't shift that's why i wanted one part of the band to be higher than one so that when i'm sewing on it it doesn't um, shift at all So once I'm done arranging the gathered part inside the band, I'll just go ahead and run a stitch on it. Please take your time while doing this so that um, it looks very neat. So I'm done um, sewing it and you can see how neat it looks on the inside and on the outside. All you need to do is just go ahead and close your sleeve up before attaching it to your dress. Um, I'll go ahead and close my sleeve and I'll go ahead and attach it to the dress and I'll show you guys the outcome of the sleeve. So right now I'm done attaching it to the dress I'll, I'm making it for and you can see how neat and beautiful it looks and um, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. Please if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't hesitate to do so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.